All right, time of that part of the show where we do rapid reaction, a lot of topics, a little bit of time. Take it away, Drake. Let's roll, baby. The Cowboys are likely to release wide receiver Amari Cooper by the start of the new league year, according to ESPN. Adam Scheffler. Does that make sense to you, Jay? Financially so, yes. Classic cap casualty. Can't pay everybody. Georgetown men's basketball coach Patrick Ewing received a public show of support from the Hoya Athletic Director Lee Reed, despite a current 19-game losing streak and an 0-18 record in their conference. Did he deserve that vote of confidence? Well, I mean, either you was going to give him a vote of confidence or you was going to give him a public scalling. And I don't think a public scalling would have helped your cause either. So if you're going to give me the two choices, I'll take the lesser of the two evils and give him the vote of confidence. Baseball still doesn't have its act together, and the league has canceled the first two series of the regular season. Are you still confident in your prediction from last week, Jay? No, I, not not confident, but I am going to stick with it. And I think now that we actually, you know, we got canceled games, I, I really, I hope that that just ramps up the sense of urgency on both on both sides, and we won't miss uh, more than a couple another week of action. But um, yeah. Uh, I can't say that I am confident. Washington Wizards star guard Bradley Beal says he is leaning towards re-signing this offseason, although he says he hasn't made up his mind just yet. Uh, does he play in D.C. next year? I mean, I guess, because they're going to pay him what he wants. Should he play in D.C. next year? No. Like, Bradley Beal, come on, man. They ain't show no willingness of bringing anybody for, to help you there. Go go to a contender, man. Go. Your skills are getting wasted in D.C., Go to a contender where you can actually win something. You're a good player, but it's oh – man, come on, man. Oh, some of these players be killing me out here. The Philadelphia 76ers has signed veteran center DeAndre Jordan for the rest of the season. How much of an impact do you expect him to have, Jay? Well, the good news is he don't have to have much impact. All they need him to do is just come in, be a big body, rebound, defend for about 10, 12 minutes a game, give Joe LMB a little breather. That's all they need. Uh, hopefully he can do that. If he can't, uh, wrap it up and go do something else. The Bills have granted wide receiver Cole Beasley permission to seek a trade, according to GM Brandon Bean. Any idea Beasley wants out of Buffalo? Um, yeah, I mean, it is the state of New York. Um, I, I, I think <laughs> – I think – um, basically, the reason he probably won out, listen, we know they lost Brian Dable. So, anytime you bring in a new offense coordinator, you, you risk changing up the schemes. Maybe he felt like he was underutilized last year in Buffalo. So, it, it could be a number of things, but just keep in mind, he, stay, he, he plays in the state of New York. He's unvaccinated, I, I think, still. I haven't seen anything that changed from the last time we talked about him. Um, so... Those are a couple of reasons. Um, on Monday, Marlins CEO Derek Jeter announced he was stepping down due to the franchise's current view, well, current vision, I should say, not being what, what it was when he originally took the job. Did that surprise you? It did. Also, I mean, as much as, like, I was, I think everybody in baseball was like, yeah, Derek Jeter is sticking to baseball. Like, the Marlins, for what it's worth, they've been, like, I think the fourth, they're still the fourth worst team since he took over operations. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the vision was when he started. I don't know what it is now. Regardless, it, it is somewhat surprising to see him gone this quickly. Tomorrow, it's UFC 272 Covington versus Mastodal on ESPN. Pay-per-view at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Main event is a welterweight bout between the number one ranked welterweight contender Colby Covington and the number six ranked contender Jorge Masvidal. Drink, does the winner of this fight get a title shot next? Usually, if you headline a pay-per-view and you win that, that event, usually that means you're going to get a title shot. The problem here with this matchup is if it was anybody else that was champion of the welterweight division, I, I would say so. Yeah, I, I see that, um, you know, Jorge Mazdorf is number six. But if he was to beat Covington, he'll probably come up in the top three or something. And plus, he can sell pay-per-views. So I would think that. The problem is, Kamara Usman have beat both of these guys twice. So with him being the champ, I don't think we're really interested in seeing either one of these guys get a title shot until we get a new champ. So for this one, I'm going to say no just because of the current circumstance. 
All right. Well, you heard it here first. That concludes tonight's Drink of Wisdom. As always, like, share, subscribe, and thank you for joining us. I'm Jay Watt. And I'm Nathan Drinker. And remember, make tomorrow better than today and make today better than yesterday. And you know what we're going to do. We're going to holler at you until next time, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Drink of Wisdom.